Hello, my name's Marcus de Sotoy, and I'm a professor of mathematics and the Simoni Professor for the Public Understanding of Science at the University of Oxford. And for the last three years, I've been on a mission to try and see if there are any questions in science that by their very nature, we will never be able to answer. And it's culminated in this book, What We Cannot Know. Despite all the breakthroughs made in science over the last centuries, there are still lots of deep mysteries waiting out there for us to solve, things we don't know. The knowledge of what we are ignorant of seems to expand faster than our catalogue of breakthroughs. The known unknowns outstrip the known knowns. And it is those unknowns that drive science. A scientist is more interested in the things he or she can't understand than in telling all the stories we already know how to narrate. For example, the stuff that makes up the physical universe we interact with seems to account for only 4.9% of the total matter content of our universe. So what's the other 95.1% of so-called dark matter and dark energy made up of? If our universe's expansion is accelerating, where's all the energy coming from that's fueling that acceleration? Is our universe infinite? Are there infinitely many other infinite universes parallel to our own? And if there are, do they have different laws of physics? Were there other universes before our own universe emerged from the Big Bang? Did time exist before the Big Bang? Does time exist at all? Or does it emerge as a consequence of more fundamental concepts? And what about the understanding of our human body? Something so complex that it makes quantum physics look like a high school exercise. We're still trying to get to grips with the complex interaction between gene expression and our environment. Can we find a cure for cancer? Is it possible to beat aging? Could there be someone alive today who will live to be a thousand years old? And what about where humans came from? Evolution is a process of random mutations. So would a different roll of the evolutionary dice still produce organisms with eyes? If we rewound evolution and press play, would we get intelligent life, or are we the result of a lucky roll of the dice? Is there intelligent life elsewhere in our universe? And what of the technology we're creating? Can a computer ever attain consciousness? Will I eventually be able to download my consciousness so that I can survive the death of my body? Mathematics, too, is far from finished. Despite popular belief, Fermat's last theorem was not the last theorem. Mathematical unknowns abound. Are there any patterns in prime numbers or are they outwardly random? Will we be able to solve the mathematical equations for turbulence? Will we ever understand how to factorise large numbers efficiently? Despite so much that is still unknown, scientists are optimistic that these questions won't remain forever unanswered. The last few decades give us reason to believe that we're in a golden age of science. The rate of discoveries in science appears to grow exponentially. In 2014, the science journal Nature reported that the number of scientific papers published has been doubling every nine years since the end of the Second World War. Computers, too, are developing at an exponential rate. Moore's law is the observation that computer processing power seems to double every two years. Engineer Ray Kurzweil believes that the same applies to technological progress, that the rate of change of technology over the next 100 years will be comparable to what we've experienced in the last 20,000 years. And yet, can scientific discoveries maintain this exponential growth? Kurzweil talks about the singularity, a moment when the intelligence of our technology will exceed our human intelligence. Is scientific progress destined for its own singularity, a moment when we know it all? Surely at some point we might actually discover the underlying equations that explain how the universe works. We will discover the final list of particles that make up the building blocks of the physical universe and how they interact with each other. Some scientists believe that the current rate of scientific progress will lead to a moment when we might discover a theory of everything. They even give it a name. T-O-E. As Hawking declared in A Brief History of Time, I believe there are grounds for cautious optimism that we may be near the end of the search for the ultimate laws of nature, 
concluding dramatically with a provocative statement that then we would know the mind of God. But is such a thing possible? To know everything? Would we want to know everything? I mean, science would ossify. Scientists have a strangely schizophrenic relationship with the unknown. On the one hand, it's what we don't know that intrigues and fascinates us. And yet the mark of success as a scientist is resolution and knowledge to make the unknown known. Well, could there be quests that will never be resolved? Are there limits to what we can discover about our physical universe? Are some regions of the future beyond the predictive power of science and mathematics? Is time before the Big Bang a no-go area? Are their ideas so complex that they are beyond the conception of our finite human brains? Can brains even investigate themselves? Or does the analysis enter an infinite loop from which it is impossible to rescue itself? Are there mathematical conjectures that can never be proved true? What if there are questions of science that can never be resolved? It seems defeatist, even dangerous, to admit there may be any such questions. While the unknown is the driving force for doing science, the unknowable would be science's nemesis. As a fully signed up member of the scientific community, I hope that we can ultimately answer the big open questions. So it seems important to know if the expedition I've joined will hit boundaries beyond which we cannot proceed. Questions that won't ever get closure. That is the challenge I set myself in this book. I want to know if there are things that by their very nature we will never know. Are there things that will always be beyond the limits of knowledge? Despite the marauding pace of scientific advances, are there things that will remain beyond the reach of even the greatest scientists? Will there remain mysteries that will resist our attempts to lift the veils that currently mask our view of the universe?